what you got in there? In here? Doom. I don't stop playing and my wife is gonna kill me. Hey there, Icarus here. Been a hot minute, hasn't it? I figured now, what with the recent milestone celebration that was Doom's 30th anniversary, now would be a good a time as any to sit down and, well, take stock. Firstly, I am beyond thankful that I've been able to do this for as long as I've been able to. For close to a decade now, I've been able to tunnel through the mod mines and boy, oh boy, there are some amazingly rich seams of creativity and talent running through them even today. It's been a privilege to be able to dig up these creations over the years, stick them on a pedestal and yell at everyone why I think they're neat. Don't get me wrong, I've also managed to dig up a fair share of duds and have similarly yelled at everyone about why they suck, but I think on balance, I've been able to showcase a hell of a lot more of the good than the bad. I'm also thankful for all of you that have considered this channel a worthy place to visit, to spend your time, and I honestly love it to bits when I read a comment that tells me I help them discover something new, doubly so when it becomes a favorite. I love that I still get suggestions for stuff to check out in the comments, and I love that over the years I've come to recognize a fair few of you out there as regulars, and it honestly makes me happy to see those names pop up when I run stuff like my live streams. I'd also be extremely remiss if I didn't say how thankful I was for my patrons. Without that list of people willing to prop me up and make up for the roller coaster that is the YouTube ad rev rates, I'm not sure I'd have been able to last as long as I have. Even now, I'm astonished that you guys consider me worthy enough to throw coin at me on a regular basis. Being able to do all of this has honestly been a dream. Which leads me to the fact that over the last few months or so, my output here has barely been a patch on what I used to be able to produce. A few factors have contributed to that. For those of you unaware, not only am I a dad to a hyperactive three-year-old, but also a dad to a pair of noisy, endlessly hungry, angrily teething twins who do not have the faintest clue of what a reliable sleep schedule should look like. Now, that on its own you'd think would be more than enough to justify a slowdown, but truth be told, the last few months in particular have been quite rough for me. I lost my granddad near the start of December after a long battle with dementia, and honestly having to deal with the emotional whiplash of putting a close family member to rest and the aggressive cheeriness of the Christmas period had me feeling somewhat like an exposed nerve. It wasn't fun. The culmination of all this is that I've not been at my best, and my state of mind has been somewhat similar to the consistency of soup lately. In fact, it's only in the last week or so that I've honestly felt lucid enough to string coherent thoughts together, make plans, and attempt to figure out what exactly comes next. But before you ready yourselves to chalk up another casualty in the great YouTuber retirement trend of 2024, I just want to comprehensively unequivocally state, I don't want to retire. What I need to do, however, is reconfigure. The simple truth is that trying to keep the old pace going is a fast track to insanity for me. I simply do not have the same amount of time available to me that I used to. What I'm trying to do in that regard is figure out exactly where I can fit myself in. Where do I exist in the ecosystem these days, and how can I keep it going? 
Mod Madness, for the most part, has always been a headlong dive into a singular creation. The fun part being that these creations can oftentimes be vastly different from one entry to the next, but that also can vastly balloon the scope of any given video on any given week. That doesn't so much work for me these days. I feel like I'll need to be a, a little bit more streamlined with how I approach this format. What I'm thinking is potentially compiling my experience with multiple mods over the course of several weeks or even an entire month into a more condensed roundup. I don't know. I'm just tossing the idea around at the moment and hoping that it eventually coalesces. But again, mod madness is very much something I would like to continue. As for something I used to do back when, but more recently came back around, live streams. Those are absolutely going to stay. I am beyond happy that streaming between Twitch and YouTube at the same time has become viable again. I'm going to honestly try to keep hitting that big Friday live stream as often as I can. I genuinely enjoy shooting the proverbial with all of you while checking out something new or something familiar, while also getting mildly inebriated. And yeah, I don't want that to change. If you like the live streams and you actually want more of them, know that sometimes I will stream solely to Twitch, and that's in an effort to make sure that I don't swamp the subscription feed on YouTube, and it will sometimes be a bit more casual or research-based, but if you're interested, you can find it at Mr. Underscore Icarus on Twitch, or just follow one of the links in the description. You may not be aware of the secondary channel, but... I've been kind of giving it a new lease of life recently. It was originally started up as a place for me to just dump random meme shit posty stuff. But recently, I have been chronicling my acquisition of <laughs> a 4070 Ti waifu themed GPU. Uh, I also found out that it was too big for my old case and had to chronicle the acquisition of a new one. So yeah, Icarus Lives Again is the channel if you feel like experiencing that particular kind of train wreck. And as for future plans, I'm considering using it as an excuse to get some Gundam model builds done. In fact, there's actually an Ava model I need to get built soon, so if that kind of thing floats your boat, feel free to drop on by. But yeah, I just needed to get all of this stuff out my head, just lay down a more definitive update for all of you that give a toss on where the channel's at, where I'm at, and just in general make things a bit more concrete. In any case, I'll be real interested to hear your thoughts about all of this. Feel free to let me know in the comments below, and if you feel like supporting any of my various endeavors, you'll find my Patreon link in the description. And just remember, this isn't the end. It's a new beginning. Until next time, this has been Mr. Icarus. Thank you very much for watching. Here's to many more years of doom. Icarus out.